Hi, I'm Will Price. In this video, I'll be demonstrating our new app called Now Showing. It's available for iPhone, iPad, and Macs. Our primary app since 2010 is Roomy Remote, a control system and universal remote used frequently in home theaters. Now Showing is a sister app of Roomy Remote that benefits from it with additional features, but can be used independently as well. Now Showing creates a home theater marquee poster display using a dedicated display device. It might show coming soon posters or what is playing in your theater. Because Now Showing is a sister app of Roomy Remote, it is also able to take full advantage of the deep IP integration Roomy provides with basically every media player. It's providing a poster on your wall that is very much a live display of what is now showing, including progress feedback as to how far along in the current program you are, and automatically fetching appropriate posters based on what you're watching. Now showing is also controllable from the app on your phone to a separate instance of the app driving the actual display. There are a few ideal deployment scenarios for now showing. We're going to focus on the ideal case in this video. We have a Samsung frame 43 inch TV mounted on the wall outside a home theater. On the other side of the wall, a Mac mini is driving the outboard Samsung box for the frame. There's a very thin long cable that carries both power and signal right through the wall between the TV and its control box. The whole thing is invisible on the TV side. The frame TV also acts as the monitor for the Mac mini in this case. If we need to control the Mac Mini, a Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad are here for that. You can also choose to separate into two monitors if you use the Mac Mini for other purposes. The Frame TV is driven at its full 4K resolution by the Mac Mini in portrait mode, thus allowing some truly beautiful poster displays. Now showing resizes its user interface to accommodate large displays, so you can either configure now showing directly on a 4K or 8K display or from an iPhone or iPad. Now showing can display many different types of artwork, tell it to show upcoming or popular films and it will find that automatically. You can also provide your own art and create some precisely defined sequences. Now showing configuration page is where you set up your poster sequence. When you've finished customizing, hit Start Display and it will continue indefinitely. Right now, there is nothing playing in the theater, so we're in idle mode. We can customize the artwork displayed, provide a custom sequence of images, define how long they will display, either globally or using an override on specific images, and choose whether to fit the image using sidebars if needed or layout full bleed to the screen edges if aspect ratios don't match. We can also ensure that each image is associated with the proper metadata. For instance, here we are adding numerous Ready Player One custom 4K images. These are just image files and thus now showing doesn't know how to display metadata for them. But if we tap the info button, we can configure the entire set of images at once to match up with the movie Ready Player One and thus ratings for that movie will display in the sequence if configured. The top bar and bottom bar are also configurable on this page. Set custom text or predefined text for the top bar, then choose to include content ratings and or theater features in the bottom bar, or just hide either bar to give posters more layout space, whatever you prefer. Now, we can also define what is shown in active mode when content is playing. For many media players, now showing can retrieve posters automatically. This works particularly well with home theater media players like Kaleidoscape or even Apple TV that directly provide us the appropriate artwork so it's always correct. Again, as with idle mode, you have complete control over what artwork is displayed. Define the tracking room from Roomy Remote for active mode. You would already have your theater configured and controlled as a room in Roomy Remote. So that's all we need to do here to inherit all of Roomy's integration power. If you are currently using a different control system, these active mode settings don't appear and you just set up idle mode as needed. 
Next, we're going to set our library of custom 4K Ready Player One poster images that we already configured for idle mode. The top bar will display live progress information about the movie, and the bottom bar will display ratings mixed with theater features. As we scroll down, we can see the theater features settings. We just tap the logos of the features we want to highlight about the home theater along the bottom bar of the display. We can also customize numerous additional aspects, such as the various colors and backgrounds, fonts, and other details. Let's start display and check it out. We have now showing configured to cycle through images very fast for demo purposes here. You can slow it down in the real world on a per image or global basis. This is idle mode, no content is playing, so it is cycling through the images, animating between them, displaying ratings information at the bottom, flipping between that and the theater features. You can also switch over to an animated scrolling display along the bottom bar. Now, let's turn on some content. Switching to Roomy Remote for a moment, I will start a movie on Kaleidoscape. This particular feature showing the current status of what is actually playing, as well as the associated artwork, requires Roomy Remote integration. Now showing automatically detects the activation of the room via Roomy Remote and switches to active mode. Along the top, you can see the current program is partially complete in the progress bar, and that stays up to date from the media player. This kind of information is able to be queried from many different media players. We can either set up a totally separate image sequence in active mode, automatically load posters based on title recognition from the media player, or inherit the same image sequence setup from idle mode. The idea in this scenario is that as attendees exit the theater during the program for whatever reason, to get more popcorn, for example, they can see this status information as to how far along the movie is and when it ends. If a theater is not designed for full darkness, you can deploy now showing inside a theater as well. Switch the configuration. Here's another beautiful example with many different poster images, this time from Avengers Infinity War. You won't find this many related posters for all movies, but you'd be surprised a lot of big films have families of posters designed to fit together like this, all widely available in extremely high resolution, so they just look awesome on a 4K display like a Samsung frame specifically designed to support this kind of matte presentation, replicating a real poster mounted flat on your wall. There are a few different ways to run now showing. The first that we've been showing here is a Mac Mini driving a Samsung frame. And of course, you can replace the Samsung frame with many different TVs or monitors. Just verify that it's able to handle portrait orientation. We consider this deployment with an outboard control box and wall-mounted Mac TV ideal. But there are two other recommended ways to deploy that might be simpler or more applicable for your use case. The second deployment scenario is to use the same Samsung Frame TV setup, but drive the TV from an iPad. This external monitor support feature is recently part of iPad OS. It does work well, but it has one major limitation. It only works in landscape mode. Now showing does work in landscape, but you'll either want to find custom landscape aspect ratio poster artwork, which does sometimes exist, or else tolerate large visible gaps. One presumes Apple will improve iPadOS one day to allow portrait mode monitors, but for now be aware of that caveat. Since most posters are designed for a roughly 1 to 1.5 portrait ratio, it is much more ideal to use that orientation for your display. Another note on this scenario is that it requires secondary power. Generally, the way to wire this is to plug the monitor into the main Thunderbolt port on the iPad, attach Apple's Magic Keyboard to the iPad, and then plug USB-C power delivery into the Magic Keyboard. You can keep it running reliably all the time with iOS guided access. 
Aesthetically, you'd want to wire the frame through a wall to put the iPad in some other location, of course, just like the iPad and the Mac Mini. The third deployment scenario is to use a wall-mounted iPad where the iPad itself is the display. This scenario supports portrait orientation, does not require the latest iPads, does not require secondary power, so is certainly the easiest to start off. The only downside here is that iPads don't come any bigger than 12.9 inches. Of course, in a hallway outside a home theater or dimmed on the wall of a home theater, that could be perfect for your use case. It's certainly the simplest way to deploy. Again, you can keep it running all the time with iOS guided access, and there are many excellent POE wall mount options for iPads these days. Finally, a note on turning things on. Samsung Frame supports wake on LAN for power control, which can be sent natively by Roomy Remote. So from a Roomy Remote, we can turn on the Mac Mini and the Frame TV SSH directly from Roomy into the Mac Mini to execute an Apple script, which makes sure Now Showing is running and in the foreground, then use our local Now Showing app on an iPhone to deploy sequences to that by selecting the display device and then tapping Start Display. Alternatively, just use a keyboard and mouse to control the Mac Mini directly. All of those commands are supported natively by Roomy Remote. For turning it off, create an activity in Roomy to turn off the Frame TV. You will also want to check your various timer settings on the Frame TV regarding when it goes into artwork mode and when it turns off automatically. In our case, we leave those turned off and use a blanket Roomy automation to make sure everything turns off around 10 p.m. every night. Check the knowledge base on our website for various additional settings you may want on your Mac Mini or iPad. That's a quick overview of our new app now showing. It is available on the App Store for iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Note that we do not resell or have any relation to Samsung Frame TVs. They are readily available everywhere and have all kinds of custom border options. The model you saw in this video has stock borders with nothing special. See the links on this video or on our website for more information about Samsung Frame. If you plan to deploy with just an iPad, all you need is the app and a wall mount. We offer several ways to purchase the app, either as a weekly subscription for a one-time event, an annual subscription, or perpetual without a subscription. Thanks for watching. And please click like and subscribe on your YouTube client if you enjoyed this video, as we do plan additional videos in the near future.